What up, people? It's your boy Black Milk, straight out of Detroit City. Shout out UAU TV, up and up. What's good? All right, peace. <laughs> Yeah, we get it, we fill up, we all ball, the spiller, it's all tall, we came to smash walls up, full adrenaline, no kidding, we not feeling it, rap minimal, lack lyrical, just let me in. Peace, and welcome to a very special edition of Up and Up Television. I'm here, feeling real hip-hop right now, feeling <laughs> real good to be next to an MC's Word. MC's. Word. One of your favorite rappers, favorite rappers, or favorite up, up-and-coming rappers, this brother, the future's bright as the sunlight. Yeah. I'm here for ladies and gentlemen who do not know the brother, Black Milk. What's good, what's good, fine, how you Peace, doing, man? man? Here in D.C., that's what it is. Guys, welcome to my city, man. I got into beats like just hanging around my older, you know, older cats, like my older cousins, you know what I'm saying, a couple of their homies, just being around them. And they was the cats that kind of like put me on to the the other like like side of the hip hop world, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, at, at that at a young age like I was at like 17, 16, all you really know is what they play on the radio, what you see on TV. So they kind of exposed me to the other groups like tribes and the day lives and the you know what I'm saying the slums and slum villages and all that you know what I'm saying kind of the roots all them kind of groups so most deaths and the qualities and that after hearing that you know what I'm saying that style of hip-hop that's when I kind of got the bug to you know try to write and pen and just become a lyricist myself you know what I'm saying so it started off with MCing and after that like I say still being around you know those cats and they was emceeing and they had their little you know equipment set up in, in the basement and just watching them make their own joints and inspired me to you know get on it and try to figure it out myself man and you know I just one one day I just found just I just figured that I had an ear for music you know what I'm saying and samples and chopping and you know uh, Dilla was a big influence of you know what I'm saying me wanting to take that route in production you know him P Rock DJ Premier and, yeah, the rest is history, man. I just I just dove right into it and started buying my own equipment. You know how everybody start off, you know what I'm saying? The album of the year. Yeah. What made you have that confidence and say this is how I do it? You know what? I had a I had a couple other titles, man, and uh like certain things that kind of happened in my life that kind of made me want to take the titles a different direction and um like this this album man is probably like the first time i get real personal out of all the music i put out you know what i'm saying over the past year over the last few years and whatever projects it's probably the most personal and uh i think from from the time i put out tronic which was uh like the end of 08 you know what i'm saying um to now, you know, to the time I finished up this new album, Album of the Year, like, a lot of crazy stuff happened in my personal life, you know what I'm saying, with dealing with deaths and, you know, um, getting into a crazy car accident and and, and uh, just just ups and downs with the music industry, all that, all that stuff, so, like, this was the first time I went through a lot of ups and downs in my life and I had no other, like, I couldn't help but to, like, express it in the music, you know what I'm saying, so, with the production and, you know, of course, with the lyrics. So when I got towards the end of the album, or not really towards the end, but like towards the time where I wanted to figure out what what I, what I was about to name it, that title just came to mind, you know what I'm saying, just out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? It's just like album of the year. And I was like, okay, Cat's gonna think that's kind of gimmicky. Cat's gonna try to think that I'm on my own, you know, on my own shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be on some cocky stuff, but that's that was like the real meaning of it, you know what I'm saying? Or that is the real meaning of it, like the with the first meaning of it, you know what I'm saying? Just a you getting a, a piece of music that reflects a moment in time, you know what I'm saying? The, yeah, the whole year, so album of the year, you know what I'm saying? On top of that though, I do feel like yeah, it can be the album of the year, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So no, I mean you know it is what it is. Like I've been putting in a lot of work. Tell me some albums that you've been checking for that came out from your page that you respect and the artists um, that you that you kind of give a listen to. Man, recently, recently, I have my ear been like I haven't been listening to a lot of hip hop, especially the time I was recording the album. But 
the cats that come to mind off top. You know, the usual suspects, man, when it comes to production, is like cats like Mad Lib, you know what I'm saying? Always Dilla, you know what I'm saying? The cats like Jake One, um, um, DJ Khalil, cats like that. When it comes to the lyrics and MCs, new artists out here, you know, of course, JLEC is doing his thing. Works to 5'9. Um, Elzai, and I don't want to try to name too many Detroit MCs. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah, yeah, like, like cats like that, but, but like, me personally, man, I, I mean, of course, I listen to hip hop because I do, and I, I try to stay in tune with what's going on in the in the, in the music world. But uh, like most of the time, man, I'm listening to old school artists that's you know out of the hip hop genre, just some super left shit, or you know what I'm saying, something that's not mostly not non hip hop, you know what I'm saying, but. You know, and, it, it just, and I think that's because I'm, my love for producing right. is that's that's my first love before it comes to the to the MC. I love to, you know, of course, express myself through through writing, but like I'm always on trying to find that next loop, trying to find that next, you know, crazy record that I could chop up on the drum machine and and, and blow cast wig with with the next beat and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the tip I be on all the time. Black underscore milk, you know what I'm saying, on Twitter and just holler at me. Uh, you can also go, just started a new uh, blog site, blackmilk.biz, real dope. Get all the show updates, music updates, anything about me, you know what I'm saying, on blackmilk.biz. And uh, yeah, man, album of the year dropping September 14th and Fat Beat slash Decon Records. Make sure y'all cop that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, welcome to DC, my bro. No Thank doubt, you, no man. doubt, man. Appreciate Thank you. For sure.